What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a new product review and that is of the brand new 2020 Panini Phoenix football. This stuff has 60 total cards and that includes 12 packs, 5 cards per pack. This was new in 2016 and in my opinion it's been a, one of the better products in terms of uh, design wise. So really nice sharp fire Phoenix -y like designs and a lot of colors used. It's definitely loud but it's one that I've always really appreciated a lot. So I think that um, you know when you see the cards it's it definitely pops you know it sticks with you you really can't forget it once you see it and um yeah I, I really like it a lot in terms of you know it's place in the market i would say it's a, like a mid-tier product but you can find a lot of stuff when i did xr i said I, it reminded me kind of of phoenix just minus all the fiery shiny chrome um there's a lot of one of ones just like xr in this one there's a lot of you know different uh memorabilia like one patch two patch three patch you know autos of the same rookie and um, not too many sets, but once again, a lot, most of those sets that you're getting are just uh, the RPAs. So there's two autographs, one mem card per box. SRP, I think, is in the low to mid $100 range. Resale is probably low to mid $200 range. And overall, I like it a lot. One I'm a fan of. Here's the back if you want to see everything we can get. So tons of stuff. You see NFL Shield. You see NFL Shield. Glove. Helmet. So while uh, they don't hint at it too much on the box the memorabilia you can get in here is um pretty diverse and usually pretty nice if you can get one of the short shorter print patches uh, maybe to 25 or to 10 but there we go there's the box and let's see what we can get now last year there were fire burst parallels which i think were uh one per pack or maybe something like that there's like case hit and there's a, a box hit one um i think it was color burst and then fire burst maybe one per but uh, this year, there's an exclusive Fanatic set, which I think already sold out, but that incl uh, included 200 total cards, the whole base set, and every card's a Fire Burst. So that's no longer in Hobby. What we have instead is three case hit inserts. Um, I think there's En Fuego, there's uh, Regeneration, and Phoenician, something like that. But that's some stuff to look out for. I think they're hit inner case hits. So every, I believe, I think it's say maybe eight box case would have them. And uh, let's see what we get. I think it's uh, 16 Masters. I could be wrong. I'll put in the description the actual true configuration in terms of the cases, but definitely excited for this one. A lot of fun. And I'm always a fan of the nice sharp design. We've pulled some decent stuff in here before. Uh, I would say overall I've done solid with this one. So let's take a peek at what we got. And there's all our packs. Can I get this? There we go. Saquon on the on the box. Unfortunately, he is hurt. Get well soon. My boy Saquon for the Giants. My team. Rough year, but high pick, maybe. Here are the packs, and uh, let's get straight into it. Of course, let me know down in the comments what you think of these cards once you take a look. In the background, we have some Baker Mayfield action. Played really well after starting really bad, so big props to him for turning it around. But here's the design. Nice stuff. Got that little Phoenix logo all over the card. And here's the back. So overall, I like this design. I know you know everyone has their own opinions. I personally think it's a nice one. It looks uh, looks pretty sharp. Looks clean in terms of a louder looking set. It's a has a, like a clean loud. Teddy Bridgewater, and we have a Michael Thomas and a filler. Michael Thomas is numbered to one ninety nine. Put him here. Our filler card goes here. Oh, that's pretty nice. Flamethrower, Tua. So in the past, I don't think they put as much emphasis on the whole fire theme, the whole flame. But this year with the Enfuego, the Flamethrowers, and maybe one other set, they're definitely capitalizing and, I guess, pushing it more towards a, a fiery theme. Um, here's a DJ Dallas. But we'll definitely sleep up this Tua. Not numbered, I don't believe. Yeah, not numbered. But it's a Tua, and that's always a good card to pull. And get a sleeve for him. So that's the first look at one of the packs. Nice stuff overall. Now here's something I'd recommend doing. If you have the sleeve, take a little box cutter and just cut it like that. Notice how it's split. When I take this card, I did it last video, a lot of people were wondering what I was doing. And notice how it just slides in really easily. It doesn't catch the corners, which it sometimes can do. All right, so let's try the next pack. If you haven't already, like, comment, sub, share. Helps out the channel a lot. If you guys' support has been awesome. And I really appreciate it. Also, I have a new gaming channel, Pac-Man But Gaming. It's YouTube and Twitch. Drop a follow on Twitch and a sub on YouTube. 
We should go live so soon. Maybe today to play some Among Us or something like that. Let's move these guys back a little bit. Get some space in here. Tua. Not numbered Tua? You got me. I thought that'd be numbered. But, um, nice Tua there. Very nice. Just, I guess, the base rookie. It has kind of like a purple tint, but I believe that last year or the year before they had a lot of that too, but maybe this is a certain parallel. I didn't look too deep into the parallel sets, but there's, there's several different parallels you can find. Parallels would just be the different colors. So say this card was gold, that would be a parallel, a gold parallel. Or say it's green, it'd be a green parallel. But nice, double Tua so far. Let's keep it going. More Tuas, more Burrows, more uh, Herberts. James White, game over. And that one is numbered to 199. Put that, uh, put that, put a number cards here. Then we have a Michael, so this is the Michael Thomas in the Tua box. Another Michael Thomas, this one's Hot Routes. So once again, that kind of fiery theme. Brian Edwards. Next pack. Yeah, going back to the, the gaming channel, if you ever want to play with us, or play with me, play with anyone who else is playing, join our Discord down below. The links are in the description and the pinned comment. And um, you can play with us all the time. We're always, you know, streaming something. 2K, Among Us, Fall Guys, Fortnite, I don't know. Um, and new games as they come out. We have Joe Mixon, and we have James Morgan. Should be a... That one, I think, might be numbered. I could be wrong. But... All right, so there we go. Numbering on there to 299. James Morgan, quarterback. Jets are, uh, man. Jets are rough right now. And then Colin Johnson, so not the craziest auto, just, um, and once again, these are in their college jerseys because some of them they didn't Photoshop, which, that I don't know. I don't know if you're going to Photoshop them, why not just Photoshop all of them? They've had the time to do it, but I guess only the main guys get the Photoshop, and for now, we're stuck with the, the college jerseys. I don't know how long that will be for, but hopefully they can get us some NFL jerseys soon as they Photoshop and take pictures. Cole McDonald, old combine pick. Next one up. Of course, if you want to get a box of this for yourself, I would try your local card shop, hobby shop, of course. I'd also try maybe eBay, online retailers, probably we can get it for the best price. We have a Robert Woods, Terry Leonard, and a Denzel Mim. So now it's turning into the Jets box. This one's got to be numbered. No way it's not. To 35. So there we go. Numbered rookie, Denzel Mims. Take that. Nice. And a flamethrower, throwers, Deshaun Watson. Derek Brown. Cool looking card. Just an insert though. This one's a thicky. Maybe we can get a jersey card or one of our, well, that's not one of our, our only Ricky Jersey auto. And this one is a hit, I believe. AJ Green. Wrong bingle. To 125, it is green. And here's our Ricky jer Jersey auto. So this is a and that's a 299 to AJ Green. Denzel Mims, a very Denzel Mims heavy box. Look at that penmanship. <laughs> Man. DM with a little squiggle line. They need to send reps over with these players so like there's more pressure to not just put a little squiggle. But Denzel Mims, okay. And then we have another Tua behind there. So this is Mims, Tua. And I forgot the other one we're getting a lot, but a box of them. Uh, the two. So this would be the base. This one might just be like a, a silver or something that we have down there. And still a lot of packs left. Maybe we can get some goodies. Maybe a case hit insert. And actually, I didn't check if that Mims. Did I check if it was numbered? Oh yeah, it's a 125. So nothing, nothing crazy there. We have a Jeff Okuda. There you go. Nice. And another flamethrowers. And that's a 299. Drew Brees, parallel this time of the insert. And then we have a Fire Forge, so another fiery theme there. Barry Sanders and a Grant Delpit. I think he got hurt. But yeah, there we go. So looks like we obviously have some the base ones, some silver ones too. And uh, let's keep going. Thick pack here, could be our jersey, could be not our jersey. You have McCaffrey, 
and uh, Anthony McFarlane, maybe to 299 to 149. Guessing the numbers, guessing the numbering has gotten easier actually. It used to be really, really tough, but it's still a uh, still somewhat tough. And uh, Antoine Winfield Jr. and a Darren Waller hot routes or hot routes. Next one up, another thick one. Maybe this one's our jersey. You learn we're only missing one hit, so that would be the the last jersey, which might be here. Lock, Debo, flamethrowers, Rogers. We get a lot of flamethrowers. To 50. Nice. Rogers having a good year. AJ Dillon. Jersey card there. And LaVisca Chenault. So there's a jersey. AJ Dillon. Nothing too crazy going on. Doesn't really have a name to the set. Of, oh, here we go. Phoenix Fabrics to 149. So just okay. Nothing nothing's right home about. But still have some packs left. We already got some Tua action. So it's not like we're missing out on the QBs. Nice little stack growing there. Well, let's keep it going. Oh, kind of butchered that pack a little bit. All right. Got some AJ, Ramsey, and a Matt Ryan to 175. And another Flamethrowers. It's going to be like our fifth, or maybe fourth. Fifth, fourth. One of those two. Uh, flamethrower. Tyler Johnson. And here's a Tannehill. Flamethrower, not numbered. Get a lot of these. So it looks like there's a... Oh, whoops. It's a pretty common one to get. All right, I think three packs left, including this one. Maybe we can squeeze out a Burrow or a Herbert or something like that. Or Kenyon Drake. We have uh, to 75. Kenyon Drake. Cool. And a Rookie Rising. I feel like this one might be a more rare one to get. On the checklist, at least, it's at the bottom, and there's only like 10 rookies, I think. I think it was this set. But I think that might be a better one to get. I'll have to check. I don't think it's a case hit, but I don't think you'd be getting tons of those, like Flamethrower, for example. All right, we got Jake Fromm. Okay, Pink Fromm to 199. And nice QB. Game over, Julio Jones and a Kyle Duger. Julio. Nice. And this should be our last pack. Very last pack. Let's see what we can get. And kind of butcher the pack again, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Got a DJ Chark. Another Julio Jones. And that is to 175. And then a Hot Routes, Grant, uh, no, not Grant, <laughs> Devontae Parker, and J.K. Dobbins. Not numbered there, so that does it. Let's recap, see what we got in total. We got a lot of, there's not a lot of insert sets, so keep that in mind. And there's like maybe like nine inserts per box. So let's actually take a peek at what we have going on here. Some of our many inserts, I don't know if I'm going to count it up, but got a lot of the flamethrowers, obviously. Hot Routes, we already see two of those. Another flamethrowers, that's Watson. Another hot route, so three hot routes, two flamethrowers so far. Oh, I said I'm not going to count it up, and here I am. And we this one up, yes we can. We have the two of flamethrowers, so definitely a two heavy box, which is good. From numbered, this one's the 175. Rookie Rising Rugs, Kenyon Drake 75, Matt Ryan. We have uh, AJ Dillon, flamethrower, again, to 50, Rogers, McFarlane, Fireforge, Flamethrowers again. This is Breeze. This one's numbered to 299. Okuda. Base Tua. Mims was the rookie jersey auto. Okuda would be silver, I guess. And then Mims to 35. Colin Johnson. James Morgan. Michael Thomas. James White. And then this Tua. So let's put these guys here. And we're ending with three Tuas. I mean, that's, that's a dub. I'll actually take that. I don't think that's too easy to do. But we have this base one, we have this one, which looks like a purple parallel. I honestly just don't know the parallels well enough. I mean, let me see if I have the box still. Ignore my old creaky chair, but... Um, base, 
Red, pink, teal, orange, yellow. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. We'll have to. Maybe it's color burst or base silver. What? One of those two. Maybe they still have the color burst, but they got rid of the fire. But could be that one. If it is, then um, boom. <laughs> if it's not, then still nice. But regardless, three two is a dub. Jake Fromm and Henry Ruggs two, and overall does it for this one. Uh, considering all the numbered cards and now the various case hits, I think it's added value. A lot of products are in that two hundred dollar little over range, and I think Phoenix would be one of the better ones for that price range. So. I mean, keep in mind, you get those three hits. Hopefully, you can hit a top rookie. If you don't, maybe you can get one of these Tua's. Like, I think this is a pretty solid card here. And um, we got this Tua. And we also got this Tua. Then we got this Rugs, which shouldn't be too common. And then this Jake Fromm. So, solid stuff overall. And once again, uh, I would say the results other than this Tua, I mean, this is just as solid as it is. So, you have a lot of potential, hopefully, to hit one of those top QBs. And three guys are red hot right now. So, um, at least their stock is. And hopefully you can hit one of them. That does it for this one, guys. Comment down below what you think of this product. Do you think it's improved over the years? Do you think it's gotten worse? And what would you change? What would you keep? Um, I'll look up this Tua overall and see how it is. There's not a lot of comps. I said I might try to put some prices, but this is one where I probably can't find comps. So it might be tough. But uh, I think that's a pretty solid. That might be a mini boom. We'll, we'll keep that in mind for now. And you'll see based on how I title and comment uh, uh, describe the video. But um, nice stuff overall. Definitely uh, want to grab another one, maybe. We'll, we'll see. But good luck on your boxes. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.